Rock and roll. <laughs> but I think I was going to ask you, uh, why do you think Jared Pulling bashed Nikon? But I think you've, uh, you've answered that question, haven't you? Already. Sort of. No, no, no. I haven't answered that question. Okay, so here's my thing about, like I said, I've been following so for a long time. It, why is after Nikon? What's, what's the motivation? This is this is this is my non <laughs> this is my non professional non informative you know assessment like mental health assessment of Jared. Okay, this is what I've noticed about Jared. He's a bit of a snob. Like he's one of those people who has to has who has to have the best of the best. I remember when I first started following him, he's always had like the the D three S D four. Like I remember when I was like, oh, he has a D three S. Yeah. And he would do like regular porches with a DTS. And, you know, he's not somebody who essentially like shoots sports or anything like that. Like, I mean, he probably does. I've seen him, well, I've seen him shoot a few sports games for YouTube, but not like in general. Most of his work, I've seen that he, that he, like the work that he's proud of, he probably could have got with a D700, but he's always had the best of the best the D3S, the D3s, the D4s. He's always had the, the so that way, and I understand that he probably doesn't want to have any excuses. So he wants the gear to just be the best possible. So that way it all is on him if he didn't get the shot, not the gear or whatever the case be. So, OK, so we have that snobby aspect of him. And he's always been that way towards third party gear as well. I remember, again, watching him way back mm. in the DSLR days. He was always about the Nikon lenses and the Nikon branded you know, lenses, and every time Tamron them would come out, he would never be like, I would never use it, but it might be good for you guys. Because he just, he's just, he wants to have the best, best, the, 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 the you know, first party lenses, all of that get that, that's always been him. And so I think, and I remember he used to make fun of Sony because back in the DSLR days, Sony couldn't compete. Well, now here comes the DSLR days. I'm sorry, mirrorless times. And Sony caught up. When that A9 came out, Sony caught up to everyone and surpassed yeah. a lot of everyone in, you know, in a way. And so I think that he was probably waiting for Nikon to come out. And the Nikon didn't match the Sony A9, or the Z6 didn't match the Sony A9. You can make arguments about the Z7. Let's just say the Z7. But, or sorry, what, the A7 III was it? better. Why would the Z6 <clears throat> match the A9? Because you have somebody who likes the best of the best. And if you're going to use a Nikon, I think he decided he once he shot with the A9 or whatever, he was just like, yeah, I want to go mirrorless. And so it's like if you're going to go mirrorless and you want a D, a Nikon D series level D6, D5, your only option is a Sony A9 or, you know, whatever at the case. And so I think he was waiting for Nikon to come out with something that would, you know, make him stay, but it just didn't happen. I think, I think so. he's, uh, no, I think, uh, <clears throat> I like Jared Paulin from his, the old days where he wasn't that commercial, you know, I was talking about like his grandma and, yeah. you know, sitting down with his grandma, mother, mm -hmm. it was more personal and, and it was, it was fun. But now it's like crazy. It's too commercialized, and I don't know what it is. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't get the wind tunnel test, you know, at all. It, that's always yeah, been a thing, though. That's what I'm saying. That's even I, he used to do that, and at uh at the place in Philly when he would go. I remember he would do the the, the Vader every time it was Canon. It was like some dark Vader fro. It was like Vader fro when he would shoot can when he would test Canon. It was Vader fro. And it was not kind and, of, it was regular. He's always had some kind of like shtick about his and, thing. And right now he's after the Panasonic L mount. Yeah, yeah, exactly. L -mount, like, so he's always had some kind of thing. But uh, here's another thing about Jared, this I noticed. He has, he's uh, conceited or he has, a, he has an ego. He has very, very much an ego about him. And the fact that he's built a, a, a platform on YouTube, a large platform, it's only made him more. You know, so back in the day, he might have been a little more humble about his his work and his gear and his channel trying to grow. But now that he, you know, he's in the hundreds of thousands to the millions of YouTube subscribers, he has a voice now and he knows he has a voice. He's sold a lot of books, a lot of courses, a lot of whatever the case it be. So his ego has only gotten that much bigger. And so now he feel I think he just because the Nikon doesn't work as good as the Sony does to him, he just wants to you know, rank on Nikon. And I think that he pointed out that like 
he made a video where he says, well, I like to point these things out because they're listening. And if they see my complaints, then maybe they'll get better. So in his mind, he feels that if I'm complaining about stuff, they're going to see my complaints and then they're going to be better and I'm going to make them better. Somewhere in his 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 egotistical mind, he feels like he can make Nikon a better company by bragging on them for ragging no, on them for some reason. No, so. of course, of course, I think I think uh, I think the company does listen to people, and if someone has a lot of a uh, lot of followers, and of course he's he's making noise, he's saying a, a certain thing repeatedly. Of course, the company is going to notice. There's no doubt about that. But I mm-hmm. don't think. The company sat together and said, you know, the board of the the guy sat together and said, you know what, Jared has had this to say. So we have the new brief for the new camera. I don't think that <laughs> happens at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I, I, I have I have I have an interesting point of view on, on the way he on what you said and the way he approaches Nikon. He say he he has access to so many brands right now. My, and he's such a big YouTuber. My question is. So, so many people are watching him. So that's a big responsibility. How can he not sh- show people and tell people this is how to be successful with a Nikon camera? Because, be- here's because the you thing. know, you know, you can make it work. You, you're an this example is the, of this that. Is, <laughs> this is the thing. This is the difference between me and Jared. And this is no knock on Jared. This is not a knock on Jared. Respect Jared. He is great. He's a great photographer. He does great work. He's a YouTuber. I'm a full-time photographer. Like when, like I said, when I leave here, I got to go do a job that a client booked me for. If you notice with Jared's work, he's getting booked for, you know, things, but he's booking these things to create content. Right. So like, Oh, when he, I just watched and I still watch his channel. Like I'm not going to be like, Oh, screw him. I still watch his channel. He did a review of the Sony 70 to 200, the new G master version two. Yeah. And he went and shot a soccer game with it. He wouldn't be at that soccer game if he didn't have to review that night, that lens. Yeah. I yeah. got to shoot a wedding next weekend. I'm going to be at that wedding whether I got to create content for the, the new lens or not. I have to shoot that wedding and I have to use the gear that I can rely on, that I can depend on. I couldn't just automatically out of nowhere switch my whole gear out for something else for a, a, a workflow that I'm used to. Like if I'm somebody who does work day in and day out, I have a workflow. I have a certain amount of gear. I have what it. I have expectations that I give and I have presets and things that work with the files and that and that. And so to interrupt that and just to all the second tomorrow, bring a Canon R5 into mix would throw things a little bit off. And then the next day, throw a Sony A1 into the mix would throw things off. So you have to realize that Jared Poland is a YouTuber. He's a content creator. And so a lot of his content and things like that revolve around creating conversation getting reactions out of people Mm. and getting people to talk and getting people to come hate, whether it's the hate or whether it's to congratulate, it's getting eyes on his channel and what his content is. That's a good point you make. That's a very good point you make. It's like when I'm shooting my jobs, my gigs, I do behind the scenes, but very rarely because I'm concentrating on creating their memories and I can't Mm. think of my YouTube channel. That's secondary. If I have time, I will. But Jared... I don't think he's had a gig like that for years. I mean, he used to do that back in the day. Way back in the while. day. It's been a while, but now he he only takes the upper echelon gigs. Like exactly, you know, you know now, the high profile people. He'll take them. What has happened? Yeah. What has happened is because of the narrative. Is what has happened now, and uh, and Tom Morgan writes about it. If you uh, read his blog, he said that you know the expectation right now is that the camera <clears> will not <throat> autofocus. It will automatically autofocus. He said it's automatic autofocus. Why doesn't the camera know what I'm thinking? Now that's <laughs> where the conversation has moved. You're saying, oh, I have to now set the camera my way. I have to now put the focus there. I need to change talking from this uh, mode of autofocus to that mode. Well, why do I have to do all that work? Why shouldn't the camera do it automatically for me? Now, it's like, it's like you know, it, want- it's a, because for so better or the worse, with this is that if someone young is watching it, it will think, "Oh, I don't, I shouldn't have to learn the camera at all." That's what the message. That's what goes out to someone who's picking up a camera for the first time. And so, if you're somebody who creates content for YouTube, and you're reviewing cameras for YouTube, you're making content based on the review of how the cameras perform. Not necessarily a review based on how to learn photography is, okay, if you're going to use this camera, 
learn that this mode is what you want to use to get portraits. If you're going to do, you know, a person in a frame, maybe use auto area AF for auto focus. If you're going to do some wedding work or some doc or some landscapes, switch it to this mode so you can use the focus point. Like those things are the things that you learn when you are focused on one camera and you're doing and you're teaching photography. You're teaching photography for the sake of learning photography, as opposed to creating content for just clicks and giggles. OK, that's just my. Yeah, that's no, I, it, yeah. And you, you got to be careful because you're influencing a millions of people. You're influencing thousands of that, people. Exactly. You have to be careful. You have to be careful exactly. what you say, because you don't want to give the bad advice or, you know, advice that's uh, influenced by the check you get. But here's one thing, just one thing real quick. Jared, I have to give him credit. He's built an audience. You have to give him credit, man. The guy's yeah, published 3,200 like, yeah. videos. 32 no, exactly. videos. voice modulation. Freaking He's video. an entertainer. So, yeah. I mean, you have to give him credit. And I give him credit. He's a good photographer. I mean, it, you know, but he's more of an entertainer and an influencer on YouTube. And I want to, you know, invite him. There's an open invitation for Jared Poland to join us on Vahography Talk. You watch this video, Jared Polin. Come on, I dare Damn. you. Come on. Now talk. that now that's the one who good luck getting him on. I remember, and you know, like I said, it goes back to his it, Jared is the type of guy, and this is just just my own. Like, like I said, respect to Jared. Jared, appreciate you. Great work, been a fan for a long time. But I also call a spade a spade, and I tell how it is. And I remember I was on Clubhouse. I don't know if you've heard of Clubhouse um uh frames. Uh oh. have you heard of Clubhouse for Hagen? Yeah, uh, I know it's no. It's an app here in the U.S. Anyways, it's like yeah. a basically a, 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 it's like, like this, but on the phone. You have to get an invite for it, like, right? right yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. a, yeah, uh -huh. it was like that. Anyways, he was finally on Clubhouse and he basically was like, I don't understand why this matters. Why would anybody do this? And I remember it, it was in a room with a bunch of photographers. It was him, Vanessa Joy, uh, Chelsea um, mm. from Tony, Tony and yeah. Chelsea. I think uh, Manny Ortiz was there, too. Okay. A few other people uh, and Jared, his attitude in the room was basically like, why am I here? Really? Well, like if, if this isn't about me, then and I've and I've gotten that from him. I've gotten that since that Jared's a type of if it's not about him or if he can't benefit from, from it, then oh. he could, he has other things to do. So he's oh. he likes to be the star of the show. And if oh, he's yeah, not well, the star of the show, then he could be the star of the show on Vahography. Come on down, man. I open invitation. <laughs> I, mean, I, want, I want. There's a lot of questions I want to ask you. Go for it, man. Don't be that guy that turns the, it down. The one thing that you that you pointed <laughs> He's out. He's going to turn it down. To, <laughs> I, Don't the be one that guy, that you, Jared. I, one thing that you pointed out to him, because I want to keep it short. The one thing that you pointed mm -hmm. out to him on his um on his 50 mm 1.2 review, on mm -hmm. which I kind of did a follow up with my 1.8. And I think the video is still valid. A lot of people mm -hmm. say, hey, you can't compare between 1.2 and 1.8 because the uh, uh, focal, uh, uh, the depth of field is different. But then when, you're f when your subject is 15, 20 feet away, it's almost it's the, the same. same. Yeah, it's the right? same. It's the same. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so you, know, you pointed out that you know, lens reviews are supposed to be timeless. Exactly. Why do you make it about one camera model? Or you just have to find more excuses opportunities windows and a uh, window of opportunity to just bad mouth nikon one more time and, that, and that's why and so like i think i think deep down inside he has good intentions he wants nikon to do better i think he's just going about it the wrong way and i want to point this out because i never get a chance to say this there's one there's one youtuber who i respect a lot and i love the way he handles uh gear reviews and this is jason bong I don't yeah. know if you've oh, heard yeah, of Jason Bond. He's he's strictly Sony. I feel like he is the model, right? Because Jason Bond, he only uses Sony gear. He only talks about Sony gear. And I feel like if I was somebody who was looking at the Sony, I would trust Jason Bond because he doesn't yeah. compare. When you see his reviews, he doesn't compare the Sony to this or the Sony to that. He's like, this is the camera. These are how these features work. This feature works better than this feature. If you're in this situation, this might be the best mode for you to be in oh ibis is okay ibis is not that great here are the mm. lenses this is the comparison this lens is pretty sharp this is, like it's very straightforward this is about the gear this is about what you can use the gear for and i would trust him because he only uses sony gear and he only focuses he's not yeah. switching between the two and so and people like a uh, jason vong are to me are the model those are the people who and really and jason doesn't attention. make it about life and death it, like when i watch jared it feels like oh my god 
This yeah. is the new news. This is the new camera. Yeah. It's, it's like it's not life and death, guys. It's just a camera. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Jason, you know, I think. Like- Interesting that, that you bring that up, man. It's interesting that you bring that up. How he was acting on that chat. I, I was uh, there. I, I can only. I was there, and and this is the thing. I've always felt that way, and then that that can that confirmed it for me. I was just like, man, he's really acting like really cringy because he would just make like make little jokes to try to be funny, or he'd be like, okay, this is. You know, I still don't understand what Clubhouse is for and why people would do. Like he would just ask, like, why, why, why would people care about this app? And I get some people like, some people don't. But he just, he just really came as really like, this is beneath me. I'm above this. Like, I'm doing you guys a favor. And if you pay attention to people's mannerisms, like I, like I said, I've been watching them for a long time. You can kind of get a sense of like how they are and especially how they treat people. The little jokes, the things you do say, yeah, are just as important as the things you don't say. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, like he no, no. he often talks about how Nikon is a brand for old people, and then he talks about arthritis and other things. I kind of find that ageist, man. I I I kind of can't respect that. I mean, what I mean, what do you mean? Why can't old people be there? Why can't old people be photographer? Why can't photographers be old? Like if you if you, if I love photography, and if I become everyone is growing old. So why mm-hmm. become mm-hmm. do I become lesser? Do I become in what? What do I become? So why is that jibe? I don't get it. You know, this is these things are. Although I think I understand it's supposed to be a joke, but I th- I think it crosses the boundary of a joke and starts being a bit of it's in bad taste at times. And yeah, no, I I agree. I think some of his jokes can be a little kind of like, oh, that was kind of. But you know, it is what it is. But again, like I've I've been watching him for a long time since before I started my channel, and so I've kind of. figured out who the type of person he is and so you know whenever and i will praise him like when he does something good i'll say great job like i'm the type of, i do both comments if it's something i don't like i'll say that was kind of bad or this doesn't seem right or i don't know if you should have did this and if it's something good i'll point that out the good stuff as well i, I remember when he used to do his raw talks where he did the podcast i yeah. donate every i would donate i donate money say yo and i i remember this comment i said hey jerry i know i give you you know i'd give you a mess or whatever but great job keep up the good work blah 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 and i donate it to the platform like i said i'm somebody who i go both ways if you do great i'll say you do great if you do bad i'll say you do bad but you know as long as you're consistent if you are who you are you are but i unsubscribe like he's not as bad as tony and chelsea i'll just put it that uh, <laughs> no they had a beef right they had a beef right <laughs> those two had a beef and uh but i i noticed uh he referenced peter mckinnon a few times and you know who did uh, jared yeah oh, he said about because, their yeah. five million subscribers and he's always like oh my god you know he has five such million a, how come such I? a such a brilliant creator yeah well he's, yeah he's not about gear he's telling he's you about stories, you don't man. think of, you don't think about you know feelings. Think about i love it i love him i love yeah it. it's like so and he only talks about canon right It's all canon, yeah, canon. No, no, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's mm-hmm. not, no, no, Vagan. He's not focused on canon or anything. He just happens. No, to I know canon. that. But if he, do, if he does, ta- if he life. does talk about, if he does talk about gear, it is canon. Then, then yeah, he does. He yeah, yeah. of course, mm-hmm. he, he will yeah. talk about what he has. It's okay. an afterthought. I just did a video on Peter. It's an afterthought with his content, mm-hmm. right? But then he watches content not, for the. He he's not the, changed three brands in the last three years, right? And that that is important. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. That's why. That becomes important. Exactly, and so, but uh, you are educated in the fact that you understand these things. A lot of people don't. A lot of people they get on and they see this and they take these people's words at face value and they go on with their lives and they don't think about, oh, well, last week he was using the Sony, this week he's using the Fuji. Maybe I should like they just say, oh, yeah. this is what this person says. Okay, well, if they said this is the best one, I'm gonna go with the best one. Or they said this sucks. I'm going to take this and I'm going to tell my friend who doesn't watch YouTube that this sucks and then they're going to tell their friend and so a lot of people aren't educated in the fact that they understand these things like I get asked dumb questions all the time and I have to remember that these our people just don't they just they, the common sense isn't common yeah yeah exactly so, so exactly I, so at least my intent of bringing this up was not about you know doing his character analysis but mm-hmm. to, yeah to make the point that you know some of those things lead people to the wrong direction and uh, like i i jared, i made a video on. <laughs> so, yeah sorry jared come on the channel he's not coming on the channel he, that Vagan i can tell you beating, you were surprised about me 
if he comes on, I'll like turn on. I will. I will pay. I'm, I'm oh gonna, yeah. I'm putting, oh yeah. All right. I'll put and you gonna give me I'll a list. Hundred, I'll put a hundred bucks. Are you right gonna now. give me a list of questions to ask him? <laughs> hey, no, listen, Vagan. You, you know, you, Vagan, <laughs> Do you know? Do you know what Jared Pauling told Ike when he said, "Boy, lens reviews is supposed to be timeless." He said, "Good job trying to pull me down." Exactly. Yeah, I, I made a whole comment about like, yo, you basically would did a whole review on the lens, but you talked about how bad a camera was, and that when you think about lens, because I'm, and I even went back, I was like, let me make sure I'm not tripping. Let me watch his other videos. So I watched other videos that he's done reviews on with other other brands' gears, and some of the videos were none of them were like that was a 30 minute review that was a 30 minute review none of his other lens reviews have ever been that long and yeah half of the and half of the 30 minutes was him just complaining about the z7 II and the autofocus as opposed to the lens i'm just like bro i've watched your other videos you've he's had videos as quick as 10 minutes five ten minutes like five minutes i think he did the canon 51.2 he did like a six minute review and he's like this is the lens this is the aperture ring as these blades is sharp here in the discussion, like stuff like that. But he picked 30 minutes and I, I just pointed it out. I critiqued it and he just was like, you're trying to, I didn't say anything about his character. I didn't say his photography sucks. I didn't say you suck. I just said, hey, this is a, you know, basically reviews and bad yeah. taste. What did, know, like, yeah. what did he say? It, what did he it say? It was not personal. Your comment was not personal. You said oh, that it's not the to it? way to do a lens review. Did he respond yeah. to it? And the, he, he responded saying like thing he said based some 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 you tried to good job trying to bring me down or whatever yeah. basically oh, he yeah. he took it as me trying to attack him and instead of me just offering a critique to his video which you know i feel like was valid and as somebody who does youtube you know myself i'm like yo like this isn't this is not how you're supposed to do a lens review and you're attacking the, the camera yeah. now granted i felt some kind of way because i shoot nikon there is my bias in the fact but what i said still stands yeah no, sure. But like but, I said, go ahead. No, sure, absolutely. But you know what? Thing is, the message out of that video is: do not buy this brilliant lens because the camera exactly. in two thousand twenty or twenty one was not good enough. Exactly. And that was my it, whole point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna watch it in two thousand twenty three. Exactly. Like if if I get the Z nine tomorrow, all his complaints won't matter. But like because I the, need, yeah. Like what but the I beep? Watch Mm hmm. But let me watch. Let me see what the 51.2 and you come across your video and it's an extra 30 minutes and talking about the camera. You're like, well, I just want to know what lens is doing, because I have this new Z6 Mark V that's like 100 frames per second, the best autofocus in the world. I just want to know how well the lens performs. So but you're watching a video about the Z7 II instead. So well, I, I mean, mean meaning, yeah, meaning, you know, go like, on, go like I said, um, half of his shtick is entertainment. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I take him somewhat seriously. Yeah, he's a photographer, but it's entertaining. So give him credit where credit is due. But some of the stuff he says is like not true. I have been meaning to ask you this question for a long time. Thanks to Wagen for actually contact you and convincing you to come on. Mora. Thanks for being kind enough to come here. You Thanks guys, I'm, I'm way more approachable than you think. I, 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 but anyway, oh. go ahead. <laughs> you, you, uh, you look ominous. You look serious. Yeah, well, yeah. It's the do-rag. Yeah. <laughs> I can't come on the channel, right? I'm too big for you guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs>